make sure that you're warm and comfortable when you're sketching. This bag is light but big enough to carry all that I need for watercolour. So I could sit on a wall or a damp piece of grass with this and it weighs almost nothing. So that's one. This is my little folding stool. Folding sun hat. Because you never want to have the sun in your eyes or on the work. Here's the sketchbook. So now we can open it up fold it back, put the rubber there, the rubber, and then this will stop it blowing about in the wind. Two little dishes to hold water. One bottle of water, one mixing palette, all on the damp ground. A choice of brushes, a good pencil, um, this is for getting water into the mixing dish. Um, we've got a pencil sharpener, a rubber which I don't use very much, and then that all stays, and another pen, all stays in there. I've also got a box of graphite pencils. Um, I've got another clip, tissues, so that we can dry the brushes in my hands, so that I keep my hands clean. This is important, insect repellent and bite cream. Probably the most important thing, as long as you've got your water, is, there we are, and I've made, made um, a chart so that I can remember which colours which in the, in the well, it, in fact it goes that way around so you can relate them easily. It's the worst unhappiness you can have is where is my favourite expensive brush? This is the bag that I can take on holiday for sketching and in the top there's actually room for my waterproof. In here is the actual sketchbook that I had when we went to Italy. So you can take it out quickly on the train or anywhere and I've got a pen in the back, a clip on here and here a uh, sketch is already in there. Here we are. And another one of just something that things that you can do, some mosaics. Sitting outside having a cup of coffee, an orchid that I wanted to record, some other flowers and little notices on our walk, a lovely fruit that we bought, so I've drawn it before we ate it. So that's what the holiday sketchbook. So then your sketchbook with all your holiday memories is still all right. Hand wipes, always, of tissues. Yes. Now this is important, a selection of enough colours that I can do most things with if I mix them. And there's a little area for mixing in here as well. Water pot, which is in a plastic bag as well because occasionally it leaks and it's just a tiny little thing with a screw lid. Oh, always a plastic bag to put things down if the surface is wet. This is the main. There's a pencil sharpener with a. It keeps the pencil sharpenings inside. I brought two pencils. Um, a selection of folding brushes. Right, how this works, you take it out and then you just push it in there, different sizes. And then several of these waterproof pens in different sizes, but also we don't want to risk it running out. Plasters. Mm -hmm. 
parce que... Ouais. In my shopping bag, and I've got this, I've got a little water pot, I've got a tiny sketchbook here, a clip to hold the sketchbook pages, and I've got a... Here's the little paint box. It's got 18 different colours in, and it does have its own little tiny paint brush. Um, this is a, a special little pencil container and tissues. I brought coloured pencils because sometimes in the museum they don't let you use any water. So if you want to put colour on something, it's that's your only option. But what should I sketch? Oh, anything that you like the look of. Um, I'm going somewhere for the day and I just might like to make some notes to put the little sketchbook. So now I've got a pencil, nobody can in, uh, object to that wherever you are. Um, water resistant pen, another rollerball. Here's pen. the folding paintbrush which is all you need for some colour notes and it extends into a full length brush. Oh, it's on in my eyes. Thank you. 
Thank you. 